again, everybody. This is Derek, aka Mr. Everything, and I am coming back at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In today's video, we're going to continue on with our What's in the Box series. Now, just looking at the What's in the Box in front of you, what you see here are three different boxes. We've got the Pru these are all Prussian infantry. This is Command uh, this is action poses, like shooting and kneeling and shooting and stuff like that. Maybe thrusting. I don't know. We'll figure it out when I do the what's in the box. And then marching, which I'm sure it's going to be a shoulder arms kind of deal. These are all 28 millimeter models. And you get 32 models in each box. So this would be 96 models uh, with these three boxes. Uh, these are from a company called Hat, which is a very popular 172nd scale uh, company. They make medievals, fantasy, World War II, all kinds of 172nd scale models. But they also make Napoleonic figures in 172nd. And these are 28 millimeter. Okay, so, and I'm very happy that on their box art that they're not being very traditional. I'm very happy with that. Uh, having done a lot of research on Prussian units in the, in the latest, in, in my latest uh, last two weeks, I've been doing a lot of Prussians. And so I'm very happy that these are not red collared and red cuffed. I'm glad to see that they have al alternate colors. Um, and then over here, uh, this guy, his collars are, or his cuffs are not red. They're kind of a lilac color. And he's got dark gray pants where these guys have like a white pants. And he's also got black leather where these guys all have the white leather. So... I'm sure this is exactly the same picture, so, you know, whatever. But I'm glad they have a variety on their pictures. So, because these are three different boxes, what I'm going to do is, this is the first video of a three mini-series. I'm going to do an open box slash what's in the box for each of these boxes. We're going to start with the command, and then we'll do the other two in future videos so stay tuned for those future videos uh, let's go ahead and get into this I'm gonna put these off to the side and we're gonna take a look at the Prussian command okay so if we flip this over hat usually gives like an instructional panel on how to assemble them but there's not a whole lot of instructions here except the drum comes in two pieces Perry usually does that, right? They come in two pieces, and then you've got officer sword arms in various positions. It looks like we've got a flautist, um, and then they're saying you've got to glue some things together. Uh, it looks like a backpacks, uh, either with kit or without kit, and then you're going to have a standard bearer, maybe an NCO waving his hands. Uh, the drummer's got arms for the drum. Okay, now he's got a big French horn. That's pretty cool. Uh, but that's just pictures. Let's open this up and see what we get on the inside. Okay. They are in Prussian blue. Okay, that's good. Now let's take a quick look at the sprues and see if they are duplicates of each other. They are. They're all a 100% duplicate. So we're going to look at one sprue and just understand that uh, you get four of them. Also, um, Halfway through this video, what we're going to do is we'll zoom in so you get to see exactly what the quality of the models are. Uh, 28 millimeter. 
Yeah, these guys are over an inch, if you would consider that to be 25 millimeters. These look like two or three millimeters over 25, so, okay, so 28. Okay, this looks like a standard bearer because he's missing his arm at his groin and he's, or his hand, he's missing his hand at his groin and he's missing his left arm. So if I was to look down here at the standard, which does come with the, uh, the rope streamer, whatever they call those, the, the what do they call those? Um, when you have the extra rope at the top. Uh, okay, you got a left arm and you got a hand already attached. Okay, so that pretty much, they, they're going to go together one way and that's the only way. Um, two halves to the drum. The drummer does have like a little peg where you put the drum on and he's already got his drum sticks in his hand. Got a guy waving, got a guy marching, got a guy with his right arm, obviously he's the officer. Uh, we got a couple of single packs, and then we got a a French horn. Okay, so on the backs of these guys, because on the front they got these great coats slash um, bed rolls, what have you. Uh, wrapped over their shoulder but on their back it's empty so you would need to use one of these packs that have the bedroll as part of it so that when you put it on their back everything would match up okay that's fine I'm okay with that Okay, I'm not sure about this guy. It looks like he's got a lot of gap or like a indent around his belt line right there. But he's not a drummer. He might be the horn guy. That horn. His arm as it crosses his waist might fit right inside there. Okay, that's pretty cool. One thing I love about it is you don't have to put their heads on. They're already attached. You only have to add their one arm and a backpack, usually. And there are different, un, there's a, different backpacks here that if you wanted to put one on your officer you could but since he doesn't have a bedroll and there's another officer right there since they don't have a bedroll you would just use one of these two flat uh, one of those two flat packs and then there's a sword pointing forward there's a sword over the shoulder Thought there was supposed to be a third sword. Forward over the shoulder. Now I only see two different types of swords, but really there's only two officers, so that's perfectly fine. One will have his sword out, another one will have his short sword at rest. All right, so. Uh, let me go ahead and adjust the camera. We'll zoom in and we'll take a close look at what these look like. All right, so let's take a look at this sprue here. Um, I don't know if the blue is going to make it a little hard for you to see, 
but those are the officer packs at the top there and this is one of the officers you know with his waist belt you know sash and his arm one thing I do like about these are they the arms have little pegs so that um, it gives your uh, glue and also your posing it pretty much forces you to pose it correctly and it also gives you that little extra support for when you glue it together that it's like pinning you know um, this guy is just your traditional dude just on the march and then this guy has his arm out waving waving you on and then there's your French horn uh, these are backpacks that would go on the bedroll guys and there's your officer sword going forward and then there's your standard bear with tassels right there and then you've got two halves to your drum uh, and the other officer sword resting on his shoulder uh, that's the other officer actually I think that's a standard bearer because he's missing his hand right there uh, and then you got the flutist and um, I think that is the horn the drummer and this is the other officer uh, with his sash a couple more backpacks yeah let's take a look at the backside just so you get a full look backpacks also have pins and the backs of your soldiers that require those backpacks have pins so you'll know exactly where to put them right they're a little shiny but once you prime them everything should be just fine uh, that's half of a drum Okay, yeah. so if you were making a Prussian battalion, right, let's say 24 figures, uh, one of these sprues would go into that battalion, and you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're looking at two stands of your six stands you're looking at eight figures uh, that's pretty good right uh, yeah eight figures or two stands and uh, so you'd be able to make four battalions uh, with just these command elements each one of these going into a different battalion All right, thank you for coming out and checking out this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification icon because if you do, uh, you'll be notified whenever I upload videos and I'm preparing to upload uh, the rest of my Prussian infantry from HAT uh, in upcoming videos, so you don't want to miss that. All right, I'll catch you in the next video.